Greetings and welcome to Armored Core Reforged, the series where I take the preset ACs of the game and optimize them to the best of my abilities, preferably making them viable in PvP. The process will consist of me going over the original build, then I will go over the upgraded version and all the thought behind it. And then finally, me and a volunteer will do a final PvP test to see which version of the build is indeed superior. As well as after this video goes up, I will be making a community post where you guys can vote as to which preset will be the next featured on Reforged. But all is said, you have yourself a very good one, and enjoy. Greetings, and welcome back to Reforged. Last episode, we took a look at V6's Infection, and in that video, of course, I asked y'all to give it a the, uh, Reforged, a new name. And I think the best of the bunch is Outbreak. I do indeed like the sound of it. Started as the Infection, and has evolved to an Outbreak. I like it indeed, very good names, but yeah, no, a bunch of great names, but I think this one shines the best. Alright, and after that video, I did not make a poll asking which Vesper we take a look at next due to some complications, but I did ask y'all on the last live stream when we did the Requiem builds, as well as upgrading this Reforge itself, and uh, y'all voted for Swinburne V7, so here we are. Alrighty, and Swinburne's Guidance AC, despite having the more medium weight uh, Tetra Legs, is pretty much falling into the heavyweight category of weight and speed. So I guess we'll classify this as a heavyweight AC with a melee, a shield, a missile, and grenade cannon. Very interesting assortment of weapons. An absolutely goaded melee choice, that being the stun baton. Yeah, for weapons, for primaries, we have the box missile launcher, a very solid constant firing missile launcher, or at least its fire rate is so damn high that you'll get constant value out of it. Its tracking is very solid, and uh, yeah, overall very good for keeping the stagger meter up at almost any range. Next, we have the stun baton, probably the worst melee weapon in the game, considering its counterpart, the laser dagger, is better in almost every category. Um, yeah, this is just not worth running in almost any sense. It's okay, but uh, it would be considered a decent weapon if it didn't have its counterpart just being way, way better. For sure, the mounts, we have the Earshot Grenade Cannon, a very strong cannon, high amounts of stagger as well as damage, very nice on direct hit, nearly melting most opponents until you might be able to one-tap some lightweights if you end up staggering them before firing it off. Definitely worth jumping up into the air to get that ground blast radius or wait until you're near a wall to firing it, as firing it out raw... Uh, chances are it will just be dodged. But yeah, very heavy, very slow reload, but indeed is devastating in terms of that damage. And then lastly, we have the VP61 PS Pulse Shield. Very solid uh, shield for overall parrying. It's normal damage mitigation, meaning when you just hold it out to block, isn't so great. But the instant guard that lasts for 0.6 seconds is mighty. Uh, allowing you to use it up to six times because of its overheating mechanic, and uh, yeah, you can parry a lot of damage. For the frame parts, nothing specific that gives this build the defining edge. We, of course, have the VP424 uh, tetrapod legs, which are meant to be the lighter tetrapod legs, at least before Lemongar existed, but uh, yeah, are honestly just not that different from their heavy Veril, uh, or Veril counterparts to justify the weight difference. You'll probably be much be moving at the same speed. Um, yeah. Not great. For inner parts, for boosters, we have the Flugel, a very solid all-rounder type booster if you don't mind the weight, which I suppose on a Tetra doesn't matter that much. Although, honestly, the melee attack thrust and EA consumption is very solid, allowing us to, you know, get some value out of the dagger, or the uh, baton. But honestly, man, the baton is just not great. But yeah, boosters are pretty solid for all-rounder this, though. For FCS, we have the SLT, the Max Missile Lock Connection FCS, which helps our box missile catch, uh, connect that much faster which isn't really necessary, but at the same time, we don't really need FCS for much else, considering our other weapons don't really uh, coincide with it. And for generator, the VP20C, which doesn't have a whole lot of capacity, but very nice recharge. On a generator, or on a build like this, um, kind of interesting. You'd figure something more like Santai, uh, Mangtang, or honestly anything else with much more capacity, because we're, you know, Tetra. But, uh, yeah, not too shabby, I suppose. And expansion Pulse Armor, one of the first Vespers to actually have an expansion. Very nice, very nice. All right, and when it comes to the playstyle, uh, get above your opponent, go hover mode, so you can use those fat dodges. Fire off the earshot whenever above the opponents, and I guess when they're staggered, then go for the uh, baton melee. It uh, just won't come off or come out that often, as you'll want to be more evasive instead of just so close range. Although, I suppose these missiles do work at close range, as well, of course, the earshot would. And, uh, yeah... It's just, damn, the dagger just doesn't really flow with this type of build. But, I mean, it can work, you know, mixing some kicks, some ear shots, and some uh, raw uh, baton. I keep calling it the dagger because, you know, the dagger is just a better variant. But, uh, yeah, use the shield whenever repairing, all the cool stuff. 
But uh, yeah, charge dagger or charge baton isn't too shabby. It's kind of like a mini pile bunk. Some decent damage out of that. But the odds of landing it are not very high. But yes, this is the original guidance. Let's take it into the forge. And here it is. Good old reforged. For the primary weapons, I ended up switching the box missile launcher to the Quan Ji Bazooka as its fire rate, or yeah, its reload time is fantastic, making its fire rate great, only that of 3.4 seconds. Its damage is great, comparable to the Majestic, although a little heavier. And since we're on Tetra Legs, we can indeed utilize the hover mode to uh, not stop in place when firing, which means we'll be able to use it very effectively and get some good damage and stagger off, pretty much replacing the purpose of the missile launcher for a much more build-oriented weapon. Next, I ended up switching the Stun Baton, which is absolutely goaded and OP, to the, you know, much more generous weapon, the Explosive Thrower, which also is very nice on Tetra Legs, as you won't have to stop in place to use it when in hover mode, and comes back very fast, allowing us to get lots and lots of value out of it. And for the shoulder mounts, I ended up switching the Earshot to the Javelin Alpha Bazooka, as it does indeed, because of its direct hit and natural damage, it will end up doing more damage on direct hit than the Earshot itself. It is much lighter, and we can use it outside of stagger much more effectively as its reload is much much better and then lastly keeping the good old pulse shield for the same purposes of good old parrying for the frame parts packing on some chunk considering we are indeed a heavy tetra indubitably i find this frame part uh selection to be kind of the best for this type of job and yeah with our new assortment we're reaching 12k ap 1200 defenses 2500 stability which is insane we can just shrug off an assault armor no problem and uh, only 273 speed, which is only 10 speed below what we had before. But when hovering with our new booster, we should make up the difference indeed. Speaking of, for our parts for boosters, we have the Coral Booster, the NGI. This booster is indeed mighty for uh, heavy tetras, indubitably, especially in 1v1 scenarios. As its natural thrust, upwards thrust is very solid, allowing us to boost around at quite the distance when in hover mode, as well as the upward thrust helps us get to the sky faster to get the height advantage. And its quick boost thrust is also maxed out. So when we're in hover and we boost, we get indeed quite the distance and speed. And its assault boost speed is honestly not so shabby. For FCS, we're going with the Walt, as we'll need the accuracy for our bazookas to hit at almost any range. And for generator coral, as it has enough capacity for us to run all of these uh, parts and weapons at a nice fine uh, amount of capacity. Would run Santai, but the current EN load would be way too close and our recharge would just not be there. And for expansion, keeping good old pulse armor. And for the playstyle, utilize our upwards thrust to get the height advantage, go hover mode, preferably wait till you're a little closer to the enemy, fire at the bazookas literally whenever, as well as your uh, explosive thrower, use the vertical attack if you're above the opponent, meaning the charge attack of the explosive thrower, as it is vertical, and it does go further, which is always nice, and uh, yeah, just keep swapping between your bazookas, even get some kicks in there, all that good stuff, and indeed use the shield whenever possible, you should be being chillin'. Preferably save the Javelin Alpha for the direct hit adjustment, as you'll get the most damage that way. But honestly, just spraying, praying both bazookas indeed will work indubitably. Alright, yes, this is Reforge. Me and my good old buddy Shattered will now be doing the PvP test. Shattered will be using the original Swinburne, I'll be using the new. And uh, yeah, we'll get to the PvP. Enjoy! Alright, alright, alright. I, 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 looking at Swinburne's AC, I don't know what the fuck he's trying to do. <laughs> he's trying to do a lot, dude. He's, he's out here. Like, look, if I look at someone like, uh, Hawk or whatever the fuck his name is, that has all the missiles, like, mm -hmm. like you'd understand what he's, what he's trying to do, right? But it's just like, what the fuck am I looking at? I don't know, dude. That's got here. I have one weapon. Now I hurt. Bombs. No! <laughs> ah, that's OP, you can't do that, it's no fair. Peak weapon. You can't do that, that's OP. It's not fair. Yes, now my prime. <laughs> so fucking stupid. I don't think it's OP, is what it is. Very good. Very good. That was such a limp. What the fuck is a melee boost on this? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. What does he even have for the original booster? I forget. Okay. Let's see if I can, I can't Honestly, see Honestly, melee on like gone. a Tetra is really fun. It's just hard <laughs> to find a, a boost that makes it work. <laughs> yeah, uh, Lance on Tetra is pretty solid. It tends to land a lot more on the Tetra for some reason. Yeah, I made a knight. I made like a knight build using Lance, like a heavy biped, and it's fun. Oh, hell yeah. It's fucking sick. 
Yeah, can you just like not stop flying? I'll try. <laughs> I'll give it a go. Pure strategy. <laughs> hey man, works out easy. I feel like a real swim for an hour, just constantly using it for no reason. Hey man, it, it might work if you use it enough. You, know, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Yep. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> He's over. So it's over. Oh, oh. No, I will shield your <laughs> dagger. <laughs> no. Dude, Swim Burn is a fucking chat, dude. That electrical it's damage, dude. Shit. It built My up to, I think, a quarter in that you... entire fight. Alrighty, and that is it for this video. Links to Shattered's projects, artwork, and all the good stuff will be in the links in the description below, as well as the links to all my other buddies, like Hopeless and Mecha, as well as the Fight Club Discord itself. As well as the Xbox Fight Club Discord is hosting a 3v3 cosplay tournament here on the 14th of April. So if you want to attend, make a team, join a team, all that cool stuff, uh, feel free to act fast. It should be pretty fun. And uh, yeah, lastly, if y'all have a new name for the new guidance, feel free to leave a comment below with your uh, suggested name, and I will pick it in the next episode indeed. As well as after this video goes up, I'll be making a poll, community poll, for which Vesper we take a look at next. But yes, all is said, I appreciate y'all for watching, have a good one, and peace.